MMA Rants and Raves, Marius Pajanowski versus Kimbo Slice. <laughs> now you guys are probably saying, what are you talking about? And I'm still feeling the same thing. I've been hearing about this. It's rumored to happen in October. Not sure if it's ever going to happen. But you know something? If it does, let's talk about it. Anyway, let's talk about these two fighters. Let's start with Marius Pajanowski. Of course we know, world's strongest man. Probably the strongest guy on the planet. And he gets into mixed martial arts. Very bold move, brave move. He's a guy who's a fierce competitor. You can just see it in a strongman contest. And he wants to basically bring that into mixed martial arts. Comes into the game, demolishes his first opponent. Very impressive. Then he comes and fights a guy who's a more polished mixed martial artist. A guy named Kamaguchi. And he dominates this guy with his insane strength. And he was able to get good takedowns, control the fight. Looked like he might have a problem with his cardio, but he was able to get the win. Now he was taking a fight two weeks' notice. Like I said, fierce competitor, bold, brave guy. You know, he's an aggressive guy, and he wants to succeed. And he's fearless. I mean, he just would fight anybody. And he takes on Sylvia, who, of course, is a big extreme from his prior opponent. The guy was much bigger, stronger, a former two time UFC heavyweight champ, and was coming back off a win. So, he's taking this fight two weeks' notice. Uh, I was a bit concerned. I said, you know what, after his last fight, it looks like he has to learn some things, and maybe get back to this later, but he took the fight anyway. And the beginning of the fight was interesting. You know, he basically had Sylvia pressed up against that cage, and he was, it looks like he was trying to rip him through the cage. And then I saw an opportunity there. I said, wait a minute. I said, he can win this fight. He had his back. And I was screaming at the television, go for the rear naked choke, go for the rear naked choke. I mean, imagine you have a guy with those massive, massive arms. I mean, like tree trunks. If you would have gotten one of those arms under Sylvia's chin, there's no way anybody would have escaped a rear naked choke like that. The fight would have been over. He could have jumped on Sylvia's back out of figure four to control him, and then basically get the rear naked. He would, there's no way he would have gotten out of that, but he didn't do that. He just kept on trying to push him against the cage, trying to get him down, which he did. But he really didn't know what to do with him when he had him down. By the time he had him down, he started to turn red. His cardio was really an issue there. And that was really the downside, the beginning of the downside of the fight where things started to go bad for him. And he just kept on trying. And he knew towards the end of the fight, when the fight ended, he just didn't have the skill set to contend with a guy who's been a premier striker in mixed martial arts for many years. And Sylvia looked better than he did against Mercer. He was out of shape. He just didn't look good. He looked much better in this fight. He was conditioned. He was serious. And he really wants to continue his career. However, you know, there's some good things and that haven't been mentioned. We learned something about Wojnarowski, especially over his last two fights. The guy has a really good chin. I mean, he took some shots against the Kamaguchi guy. He was able to help solve him well, look good at the end of the fight. And he took some shots against Silvio. You know, his heart. He's knocked some people out. And he didn't look so bad at the end of that fight, so that's a good thing, you know, fighters have a good chin. That's a good thing to have if you want to pursue a career as a fighter. That's something you can't train or teach, doesn't matter how muscular you are. You can't build up muscles in your chin to make you have a better chin. Doesn't matter who you are, you could be a skinny 120 pound guy, or you could be a huge guy. You gotta have a good chin, a good jaw. Anyway, that's the deal with Pajanowski and his brief mixed martial arts career. Let's talk about Kimbo Slice. Here's a guy, you know, people know him as a street fighter, and he comes into the UFC, he wants to be successful, he wants to prove to the world that he's a mixed martial artist, and he did succeed. He got in, won his first fight, and he did it with all heart. He learned a lot of skills, he showed that he has some takedown abilities, and it was, you know, it was impressive, especially what he did. Then, his big test comes, he takes on a guy who's a world-class athlete, a guy who used to play football with Matt Petrione, and things did not look good for him. He looked like he had problems with his movement, and that's the situation with Slice right now. He just did show the fluidity, the movement in his feet, and I found out that he has some kind of problem with his knee, the cartilage is gone or something, and that's not good. If you're a stand-up fighter, most of what you do is your footwork, is your movement. If you don't have that, it negates a lot of what you do. And most of his fighting style is still stand-up. He's learned some other things, but it's a stand-up that, that's the strong point of his fighting. And he basically 
did not show the quickness he needed to show, and he saw Mitrione trying to kick his legs, and he wasn't able to move around as much, and it was disappointing to see that. And that's the bottom line. He hasn't shown that he has the movement that he used to have. And the other problem with Kimbo Slices with his career is that lately he's shown that he is gassed in fights. So it's a cardio thing too. So anyway, I don't know if this fight's going to happen. If it does, I mean, Slice has a chance to win because he has good stand-up. He's gone far as a mixed martial artist, further as a mixed martial artist than Pajanowski has, getting into the UFC. But the bottom line is, is that it's just like Kamaguchi, who's a polished mixed martial artist. He couldn't beat Pajanowski because of that insane strength and huge weight difference. And of course, Pajanowski is healthy. He doesn't have any problems with his knees, and he's quick for a big man. He has to be in the business that he's in, the world's strong man competition. So I see him using that strength to basically dominate this fight. You know, he's going to do what he did against Kamaguchi, and he's going to try to do what he did against Sylvia. He's going to get close enough within range to get a clinch and then force a takedown. And if these guys grapple, I see Pajanowski getting a takedown because he's just too powerful. And he's done it against another opponent. You have Splice coming in probably at 225 pounds, and this guy weighs about 280 pounds. I'm talking about another 50, 55 pounds of pure muscle. So. You know, that's the way I see it going. It, it, it Slice has the skill set of the fighting as far as uh, boxing. And, you know, he'll have a chance if he can move better, if he, if he can basically get in some good shots. And I see Pujanowski getting into the clinch game, getting the takedowns and controlling the fight. I, I see basically Pujanowski possibly winning the fight by decision, but who knows in a fight like this. And here's something interesting I wanted to mention, too. Now, Slice brings in like five million fans when he performs, and then you have a guy like Marius Pojanowski who has six million Polish fans wherever he goes. <laughs> so you have possibly, despite the situation of where these two guys are in their careers right now, what you have here is possibly the most viewed mixed martial arts event in MMA history. You're looking at possibly over 10 million views, 10 million people watching this fight. So that's really interesting. Talk about the UFC being the elite organization of having the top fighters. You would think they get the most. I mean, wow. I mean, they would love to have that viewership. So that's really interesting. Despite the fact, like I said, the situation where these two guys are right now in their careers. So that's an interesting concept to think about. But in any case, you know, that's the way I see this fight possibly going. I'd like to know what you think about these two guys fighting and if you think this fight is even going to happen. Please leave your comments below the video, rate this video, and subscribe, and thank you for tuning in.